Hello, in this tutorial we will be taking a look at how to create a simple pendulum using OB rope. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the 3D object OB rope, fully set up. And here we have our rope. By default, uh, it's just a spline and we can give it any shape that we that we need to give. What I will do here is just rotate it 90 degrees and click initialize. Okay, so here's our rope mesh. As you can see, it doesn't have any material assigned by default, so we can just give it any material that we want. I'm going to go ahead and give it this one and the UV layout of our rope uh, will be will go from zero at one end of the rope to one at the other end. But if you want your, your texture to tile uh, along the rope, you can just increase the UV scale here uh, in the Y axis to five, for instance. Okay, maybe it's too much, three. Three will do. Now, uh, if we want uh, to change the, the thickness of our rope, we can do so here. Thickness, make it mm, thinner. Uh, but every time that we change the thickness of the rope, we will have to click initialize again. Okay, because uh, the thickness of the rope affects the amount of particles in it, together with the resolution parameter okay so if we enter particle editing mode here you can see the particles that make up our rope uh, so if I increase the resolution and then click initialize again you will see that more particles are generated along our rope if I reduce it and then click initialize again less particles will be will be used to make our rope, okay? Now, at a fixed resolution value, if we, in, if we increase the thickness of our rope, less particles will be used, okay? This is because particles are generated in a way that they barely touch each other, okay? If we select all the particles in the rope, and then go to the radius property here. As you can see, they are they are barely touching each other. So I think this will be enough resolution for our pendulum, but maybe a thinner rope will be better. Okay. Now, if we click play, our rope will just fall due to gravity. So what we have to do is enter edit particle mode again and select some of the particles at the end of it to fix them in place. Uh, if, the, if the spline handles here are preventing you from selecting particles, you can just go to the obcatmul run curve script and just fold it so that the, the spline isn't rendered anymore and just select this particle here and fix it in place okay now if we hit play the rope will just stay in place okay we can we can move it around like this okay now we wanted to create a pendulum with it so in order to do that, we will need to, to somehow attach a rigid body to the end of the, of the rope. First of all, I'm going to create a cube and I'm going to place it around here. That's it. And I'm going to add a rigid body component to it. Now, of course, if we hit play the cube, will just fall due to gravity so 
what we need to do is use pin constraints okay to fix the cube to the to the rope uh, so I'm going to enter particle editing mode select this particle here and then click on add pin constraint okay now the pin constraint uh, has a pin to property here that will allow us to drag the cube and if we hit play now the cube will be will be pinned to the to the rope okay now if the rope is too stretchy for you uh, what you can do is go to the OB solver component here and increase the amount of distance constraint iterations distance constraints are like small uh, springs that hold your rope particles together okay so if you let them iterate more times they will be stiffer uh, well even with 10 iterations uh, our, our rope can be quite stretchy so one thing we can do to improve that is go to tether constraints tether constraints are very similar to to distance constraints but what they will do if we click on generate tethers here okay then visualize them is basically they will turn each individual particle into its own pendulum okay uh, attaching them directly to the to the red particle here uh, so that the rope doesn't stretch at all okay Now, of course, if the if the cube separates too much from the from the rope, what we can do is also increase the amount of pin constraint iterations here and set them to about ten iterations. 